Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin lecturing Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to perform a dependent or paired t-test in SPSS. Before we start, let's take a look at the data that we're going to use in this dependent or paired t-test. Let's say I've got a group of 20 students and uh, before I run a module I give them a test and I record their pre-module score. So the scores are given here in the second column on the left hand side. Then after the module I give them another test and I record their scores in, as a post-module score. So you can see those in the third column here. And I'd like to be able to show statistically whether there is a difference or not between these two sets of scores. So my null hypothesis here on the right hand side, H0, is that the mean of the pre-module score is equal to the mean of the post-module score. In other words, there's no difference between the two sets of scores. My alternate hypothesis is that the mean of the pre-module score is not equal to the mean of the post-module score. In other words, that there is a difference between the two um, scores. I'm going to test this uh, at an alpha value equal to 0 0.05. So now let me switch over to SPSS and I have the, my screen split so that I have the uh, SPSS data editor here on the left hand side and the SPSS stats viewer on the right hand side where I will see my output in a few moments. Now I have my data already stored in an Excel file so I'm going to choose to open that file so select the file menu, open and data. This brings up the open data win window and then browse to where your file is and change the file types to whatever your file type is. So you could have um, um, SPSS files, you could have other types of files, mine are an Excel file, so I'm going to select that option there. Um, here's my file ready to open and I'm going to select it and click on the open button. Now SPSS recognizes that it is an Excel spreadsheet and it is it's able to determine whether I have uh, labels in the first row or not. So I'm going to leave this box checked, read variable names from the first row of data and click on OK. And so what SPSS has done now, it has opened up my data in a new window. Now it's always a good idea to check your data before you run any tests. So we can see here at a glance I've got my uh, 20 students listed in the first column, the pre-module score listed in the second, and the post-module score listed in the third. So just going to do a quick check. Uh, um, I'm in the data view here at the moment using the data tab in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. If I click on the variable view, which is a good idea to do, uh, I can check to make sure that my data are okay for the test. So I can see my student uh, labels are in there, that's a nominal variable, and that my pre and post module scores are also listed here as well and they are scale variables. So I'm very happy with the way that is. I don't need to change anything. So I'm going to switch back to the data view. So I can have my, in a, in a paired or dependent t-test, I can have my data in two separate columns, unlike in an independent t-test where I have to have all my data in one column and then grouped. So here I'm going to run the test to compare my pre and post module scores. So the test is found under the analyze menu, so that's in the center here at the top. Select compare means because that's what our null hypothesis is. We are comparing the means between the two sets of scores. And I'm going to scroll down here until I find the paired samples t-test, also known as the dependent t-test, and select that option. Now this gives me a few things that I need to do here in the paired sample t-test window. You can see I've got my variable names, including student here on the left hand side. And so I now I need to copy these into the paired variables here in the center. So to tell SPSS which two variables I want to compare with each other. So I'm not going to use the student uh, uh, variable at all, so I'm going to use just the pre and the post variable. So I'm going to put the post variable in first, so I click on that and drag it and drop it onto the variable 1 box. And then take the pre-module score and click and dra drag that to the variable 2 box. Um, it doesn't matter in many ways which order that you do these in, but you will get a different sign on your t-test and it also will depend on your null hypothesis, what you're trying to prove here. So we're just looking to see if there is a difference, so uh, we, it doesn't matter which order we put them in. Before I run the test, let me just check on the options button, which is sets my significance level. Uh, I already said that I was testing at an alpha level equal to 0 0.05, so that means my uh, confidence percentage here of 95% is OK, and click on continue. I'm now ready to run the test, so I'm going to click on OK. My results show up in the viewer window here on the right-hand side. I'm just making it wider so we can see it a little bit easier. So we get the results of our t-test here in the bottom half of the screen. First of all, we get a, a, a script of statistics with the mean and the numbers and the standard deviation of each of the two samples. 
I get a correlation. Uh, what's a correlation between the two sets of scores? Um, 0.717, which is quite a high correlation here. And the main table I'm interested in is this one near the bottom, the paired samples test, which gives me lots and lots of results here. The ones I'm interested in are over here in the last three columns on the right-hand side. You can see I've got a, t t a test statistic of 3.231, 19 degrees of freedom, and a significance value, that's my p-value, of, uh, and it's a two-tailed test, remember, because I'm testing for uh, whether there's no difference between the two means. The p-value is 0.004. So let me summarize that data in my PowerPoint slide. So I've got the same paired samples test table from SPSS uh, copied and pasted into my PowerPoint slide here so that I can highlight the uh, columns on the right hand side. So I've got my T statistic value of 3.231 and I've highlighted my P value of 0 0.004. So let's remind ourselves of what the null and alternative hypotheses are. The null hypothesis, H0, is that the mu of the pre-score uh, test is equal to the mu of the post-score. And my alternate, H1, was that there is no that there is a difference between the two sets of scores. So in the bottom right-hand corner of my screen here, I report my t result, my t for 19 degrees of freedom, also taken from my uh, paired samples test uh, results, is equal to uh, 3.231 and a p-value of 0.004. Now, I'm testing at an alpha value of 0.05, so my p-value is less than 0.05. Therefore, I can reject the null hypothesis that there is no difference between the two sets of scores in favor of the alternative hypothesis that there is a difference between the pre- and the post-test scores. So that's how you conduct a dependent and paired t-test in SPSS. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.